Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to go through 10 more questions off the ASVAB. In particular, we're going to be looking at the arithmetic reasoning portion of this test. So kind of like the math word problems. Remember, if you want to keep checking out practice for the ASVAB or other standardized tests, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And if you're finding this content helpful, go ahead and hit the like button to let me know. With that, let's go ahead and dive right back into the question. Estimating a product of 157 and 817 round to the nearest 100. So that means we're trying to round to the nearest 100 place right here. And if the next number is 5 or higher, we go up. So this would round the 200. If it is 4 or lower, you stay the same. So this would just be 800. So now really all we're looking at is 8 times 2, which is going to be 16. And then you count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 16 with 4 zeros after it, meaning our answer here is A. So number two on the ASVAB is asking us to find how much coffee is in a pot. It holds 120 cups, but it's only two-thirds full. The first thing I'm going to do is divide this by three to see what one-third of this would be. Well, 12 divided by three is four. Bring down that zero, and one-third of it would be 40 cups. But we have two-thirds, so we're just going to multiply that by two to tell us that our final answer should be about 80 cups, which is answer B. Number three is really more of a reading question than it is a math question, but there's some math in here, but make sure you read through this. So I'll give you the chance to read this all here, but essentially he's saying this is what he's got in his bag so far, and he wants to know how much money he spent. But then he realizes that the sweater was on sale for two forty five, so not the two sixty, and he remembers that he actually only bought two of these bracelets instead of three of them. So we only need to add it twice. So here's the numbers that we actually have to add here, two forty five. 365 once, 365 again, then a 78 and a 130. But once you have all of those, you just add them all up, and that's going to end up giving us a total of, let's see, bring that down, and that's going to give us 1,183, which is answer B. So for number four here, it gives us the list of ingredients to make 16 brownies here, and it wants to know how much sugar is needed to make eight brownies. Well, eight is half of 16, so we really only need half of the amount of sugar. Well, right here it says one and a half cups of sugar are needed for the 16, or 1.5. Well, half of that would be 0.75, or three-fourths. So that would be answer A. So number five on the ASVAB can be a little bit tricky. Here it says that we want to know the greatest number of brownies that can be made if they have one cup of butter. Well, it says the recipe calls for two-thirds cup of butter for 16 of them. Well, if we have two-thirds, that means we get a bonus one-third cup of butter down here. Well, two-thirds gave us 16, and one-third would be half of that, so that would be another eight added on. So if I do eight plus the 16, that's going to give me 24, which is answer C. Number six on the ASVAB is just working on your mental math here. It says that we're filling up 49 inches of uh, pool water, and it's going to fill up at three and a half inches per hour. So how many hours will it take to do the whole thing? So really, we're doing 49 here divided by that 3.5. Well, I know 3.5 times 10 is 35. So that 49 minus that 35 gives us another 14 of those that we need to fill. So we got 10 plus how many 3.5s go into 14, that would be another 4. So that means that total, this should take us 14 hours, which is answer C. Number seven wants to know what two-fifths of this number is. Now remember, finding two-fifths of something is the same thing as multiplying by two on the top and dividing by five on the bottom, because it's two over five. So what I'm going to do is start off by dividing this number by five, and then I'm just going to double it by the multiplying by two. So I'm going to first off divide by five. Fifteen divided by five is three, and then five divided by five is one, and then the rest are going to just stay zeros. Now that's dividing by five. Now we need to double that to multiply by the two. So doubling this would make it six and then two and then all the zeros again will stay the same meaning our final answer here is c Number eight is a little bit more difficult than the others without a calculator here. It gives us this equation where it tells you essentially that the weight is 64.8. You don't know what the bottom of this fraction is, but you know it's set equal to 20. And then we need to solve for this, but remember, this is squared, so we do need to end up taking the square root at the end here. So the first thing we want to do is multiply this to this side and divide this back to this side. So because of divide, division and multiplication, we're able to do that. We're going to divide the 20 over here, and then that x squared is going to go over here. Well, this guy divided by 20 is just cutting it in half, moving the decimal over one is 3.24 is going to be equal to that x squared. Now it's a bit of a guessing game here, because I can't 
can't take square roots of this very easily in my head. But looking at these, 2 times 2 squaring that is going to be too high because that's already at 4, which is above us. 0 0.9, well, 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is 0 0.81. So that's going to be too low, which means our answer is... So for this question, we're finding out how much wood we're going to need in a scale drawing. It says that, in, that one eighth represents one and a half inches of wood, and it tells us the drawing is two and three fourths. So the first thing we're going to have to do is divide this out by the one eighth to see how many units we have. Well, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, which just means flipping it upside down. So I need to multiply this guy by eight. Well, two times eight is 16. And 3 over 4 times 8 is just 6. So I'm going to add another 6 to this, giving me 22. Well, now that we know it's 22 units, we have to multiply that by 1 and a half. Well, first off, the 1 is just 22, plus another half of that 22, which would be 11, gives us a final answer of 33 inches, D. All right, for number 10, we need to find 15% off of this guy and then 10% off of that answer. You can't combine the two percents here because that's not really how taking discounts work. So first off, let's start with the 15%. 10% of this would just be moving the decimal place over one, so that'd be $8.45. Then 5% would be half of that. So what is half of $8.45? Well, it's about $4.23, so let's work with that. So at this point, I have to add the $8.45 to that 5% which was the 423, and that's going to give me a total of 1268. So I'm going to take that away from our 8450 for our first new price of 7182. Now that I have this guy, I have to take 10% off of that, move the decimal over one again to get your 10%. So what would be $71.82 minus $7? Uh, that's going to be about B, 64.65. Well, guys, that's all 10. I hope you found this content helpful, and I wish you the best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB. Remember, if you want to see more videos like this walking you through question by question, go ahead and check out my page, and make sure to hit the subscribe and like button so that you see more like this as they come out. Again, my name is Daniel Caproni, and I wish you best of luck on your next test.